Welcome to another edition of Inside Medicine. I'm your host, Doug Geinzer, the CEO of Las Vegas Heals, an acronym for Health, Education, Advocacy, and Leadership of Southern Nevada. And we're in the studio today with Michelle Frankovich from the Healthy Nevada Project. Um, for those of you that are new to Inside Medicine, we broadcast right here live in the studio every Thursday at 10 o'clock. And if you happen to miss an edition, you're able to go online. You can catch it on our website, our YouTube channel, uh, Stitcher, Roku. There's a bunch of different places. Just uh, check the website and you'll be able to find those and you'll be able to see the episode of Inside Medicine. Um, we try to bring in leaders and shakers in the healthcare space, those that are doing amazing things that are helping to innovate the quality of health right here in Southern Nevada. And we're going to learn a little bit about the Nevada Healthy Project, uh, Healthy Nevada Project. Healthy Nevada Project. So welcome to the studio, Michelle. Well, thank you. Thank you for the invitation. Yeah, we're going to show a little video about the Healthy Nevada Project. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and let's roll that video because okay, I think it's going to really lay a good foundation of what we're going to talk about Excellent. in a few minutes. If we could roll that video, please. Each one of us is unique. We're embedded with a genetic code that impacts our traits, our health, and our children's future. Most of the time, medical systems are blind to this genetic variation. They don't factor how our personal genetic makeup gives us different physical traits or informs decisions about our health and wellness. In 2016, Renown Health, the Desert Research Institute, and the Nevada Governor's Office launched the Healthy Nevada Project a visionary community-based health study in Northern Nevada. By using genetic information from study participants, along with patient data, the Healthy Nevada Project will help us better understand health outcomes in our state and possibly unlock a new healthcare model for our population, one that has the potential to save lives. And now, what began in Northern Nevada as a first-of-its-kind population health initiative is expanding its vision to the Las Vegas Valley. With the University Medical Center of Southern Nevada welcoming the study, the Healthy Nevada Project will offer no-cost genetic testing through a simple saliva sample to 25,000 volunteers in Southern Nevada. By including the Las Vegas area, this study truly becomes the Healthy Nevada Project and the results will make a statewide impact. This new phase of the project is open to the first 25,000 Southern Nevada residents who qualify. Participation is easy. All it takes is a small saliva sample. You'll get a personalized genetic report on your health, traits, and ancestry from Helix. And by integrating medical data with this genetic information, we may make discoveries that lead to groundbreaking personalized medicine and vastly improve population health. It's this data, all from one sample, that can make a big difference in the health of our state. Each of us, with all our unique, different, and amazing traits, can help us pioneer a new healthcare model and we're all empowered to live better, healthier lives. To learn more and join the Healthy Nevada Project, visit HealthyNV.org. Michelle, you've probably seen that video about a million times Just a by couple. now. Yeah, I, I, you know, as we were preparing for this, I watched it over and over, and each yeah. time I gleaned something new. Very true. Uh, super cool project. Tell us, like a high level, sure. what is this project trying to accomplish? Yeah, I guess at a high level, we are a health literacy and research study. So we would like to empower all Nevadans to learn more about their genetics. Genetics are a powerful tool on many levels. And if you know more about your genetics, you can change your behavior to live a healthier life. We also are looking at returning particular clinically actionable results that are inherited traits. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you know you have one of these conditions early in your life, you take preventive measures and you hopefully prevent any illness, injury, or disease caused by these traits. So like preventative stuff because preventative, we, yeah. you know, we call it healthcare, but really we're running a sick care system. Well, we, many people, many organizations are, and yes, you could say that the industry might be doing that, but I think our CEO, Tony Slonim, clearly says we're looking to keep people out of the hospital, not bring them in. Yeah, I totally believe in what you're trying to accomplish. And yeah. as, as you and I know, I'm going to be signing up. Well, I actually already signed up, went yes. through the consent Thank process, but we're going to do a test later on yes. in the show. So yes. uh, make sure you stick through the show, uh, the guest, yes. so you could see how easy this process is and uh, understand a little bit more. We're going to talk about it throughout the program. So 
before we get started, what's your role with the program? Yeah, so I'm the administrator of the Healthy Nevada Project, and I'm the director of research uh, of the Office of Research at Renown Health. So my role really is the front-facing role. My team does all of the recruitment. They're the individuals you will contact with on the phone. You will see when you come in to consent and provide your uh, saliva sample. Um, we also partner with uh, Desert Research Institute, and they are the scientists behind um, the, the study. Our principal investigator is from Desert Research Institute, Joe Jimsky. Um, other partners would be UMC, who are graciously hosting us here in Southern Nevada. We are at three sites here in Southern Nevada, uh, two urgent quick cares, um, and then one of their primary care centers up in uh, uh, Centennial. Um, and then uh, Helix is our sequencing partner. So they would be the ones that we send the saliva sample to and they sequence the genetics. So, so Renown's the lead on this. And, you Renown know, we, is, yeah. I, I, I slipped earlier and I called it Washoe County. And we, I, it's been rebranded now for about 10 way. years, right? Uh, maybe 20 to 30, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about Renown and their role in the project. Sure. and. Um, Sure. Yeah, so Renown is the largest healthcare system in northern Nevada. We have three hospitals uh, across uh, nor northern Nevada, primarily focused in Washoe County. We have uh, over 20 primary care and specialty clinics, well over 200 employed physicians. Um, and one of our uh, key initiatives is innovation. And within innovation lies the Healthy Nevada Project. We believe, like I said, Dr. Tony Slonum believes that keeping people out of the hospital and only bringing people in with acute injuries and, and acute illnesses is, is the way of the future. So what are your, your goals with the project? You know, the video talked about you have completed 40,000, 40, I believe, 40, in northern? 40,000 in the northern Nevada, and we now released 25,000 in, in uh, southern Nevada. So we, again, are at three sites here in Las Vegas. And what types of people are you looking to enroll? Is it a particular demographic, or is it just come one, come all? Well, you have to be 18 years of age or older, so okay. we don't have a consent form for um, pediatrics. Sure. Um, but we would like to mirror the demographic of Northern Nevada. So if you're a Nevadan, please join the study. Yeah, so it's, it's so this is what we start talking about. We always hear population health. Yes. Uh, because Nevada's population is different than Utah, which is different than California, thank God. Uh, but so tell us a little bit more about, so it's, you're building a, database behind it that says here's what Nevada looks like we are we're uh, uh, when you do consent to join the study you will allow helix to return your de-identified genetics back to our database we're marrying our genetic database with uh, medical outcomes and also environmental data so that's where Desert Research Institute is really important they have a history of studying the environment for over 60 years um, and there we'd like the second tier of our study is discovery. So there are a lot of environmental outcomes and um, lifestyle choices that affect our health. And we'd like to understand how our genetics influence that um, and how our environment influences that because we have the ability to change our environment. We have the ability to make choices in our health style and our lifestyle. Yeah, so it's, I'm curious, you know, I found out about it through you all in the commercials. Well, You're doing a great yes. job with Thank your outreach. You. But when somebody says, raises their hand, they say, I want to participate, mm -hmm. how does that process start and what can that participant expect? Well, it's a very streamlined process. So we, like I, I did say, we are in three locations in Las Vegas. HealthyNV.org allows a self-scheduling um, appointment system. So you go online, you grab an appointment, you show up at one of the three sites. You should expect to be there for about 20 minutes. Um, the first uh, maybe 15, 10 to 15 minutes is all the consenting process. So that's an automated online um, process that you'll walk through. It's completely paperless. And then you provide 1.5 cc's of saliva, which is uh, actually a little more daunting than, than maybe it sounds. It's, it's about that large. We're going to do one of those in a few minutes. And I'll, you're out I'll the door. hold this up for the audience and uh, we'll, we'll wait till the end of the show. But uh, I'm sweating over it. <laughs> and I was told not to drink or eat 30, 30 minutes, minutes before in advance. So hopefully my Starbucks and my big gulp that I bought it. Uh, I washed it down with won't show up. <laughs> yes, so we do want pure saliva, and that's the reason for that. So um, I like to say the consenting process takes about 15 minutes, so make sure that you've got no mints, no smoking, nothing for 15 minutes before so you show up. So I shouldn't up. have smoked that pack of cigarettes not, and no. washed it down with a uh, Well, there are several reasons you shouldn't do that. <laughs> well, <yeah>. Environmental <laughs> factors. <laughs> I, 
I agree. So, so tell us a little bit about your partners in the study. You talked a yeah. little bit about each one, but you know, Renown's heading it up, but you've got some other big hitter partners. And first and foremost, we're thankful that you're bringing this down to the South. You know, we are it's, so this thankful is, to be here. Yeah, yeah. And it, we're excited to participate in this, but tell us a little bit about Helix. Let's start with Helix. Sure. So first I'd like to say we could not have done this without our partners. This is truly a collaborative effort. And that's why this is such a groundbreaking study. We are the first statewide population health study to exist. And that's a really powerful statement. That's in the nation. In in the nation, the world. That's yes. awesome. Someone from Singapore just, just uh, uh, contacted us. They're interested in taking this internationally. We're interested in taking this um, union-wide, so Healthy USA. Um, so back to Helix. Helix is our sequencing partner. And um, the reason we put a lot of effort into... Uh, uh, researching, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say interviewing, but you know, doing our due diligence on who to choose as a partner for our sequencing. So, Helix's power is that they sequence the entire genome. There's two things. The first is that they sequence everything. We don't have to resequence, and that that's really powerful. In five years, ten years, you don't have to go back and respit. Um, and secondly, um, they uh, in sequencing the entire genome. The difference between other commercial products would be, we like to say it's. Um, sort of like reading a book. So some of the other commercial uh, genetic uh, testing uh, products will sequence, say, particular words of chapters. Helix will sequence the entire genome, so oh, the wow. entire book. So you have everything. The second really important um, part of our partnership with Helix is that um, these are Helix is a CLIA-CAP certified lab, meaning um, these are clinically actionable results. So when we return results to you, you don't need to retest. From there, your, you know, your genetics are a really powerful tool and you partner with your primary care provider to understand how to improve your health. You don't need to go back and, and resequence. That's awesome. So it's, you know, I was one of the early participants of 2,3andMe. Yeah. And I, it's been many, many years yeah. and I hate to admit it, but I've stopped looking at the emails and they say, we think we found your 23rd generation cousin <laughs> and I just, I just get lost in it. So how do you all differ from that? Well, there's a fun element in 23andMe. The, the reports are fun. Um, you know, you do understand a lot about yourself and you can compare with your, you know, your partner or your family. Uh, but what's different about us is we are clinically actionable. So when you receive these results, you take them to your primary care provider and your primary care provider can act on them. You do not need to retest. Um, that and we uh, just have a, a fuller picture of your genetics than, than 23andMe would, would ever have. Very cool. So one of your other partners is DRI, Desert yes, Research Institute. Very, very uh, close partner, yeah. Yeah, and tell us a little bit about the partnership that you have with sure. them. And we, we've had them on, uh, we had a panel on diversifying the health economy in oh. Southern Nevada or okay. Nevada. And yes. uh, they participated in that. So some of our audience that uh, attended that got a little bit of exposure to the project. Okay. But for our guests that are watching today, they weren't, uh, they didn't have that uh, ability. So tell us a little bit about DRI and what role they play in uh, health the Nevada project. So the Desert Research Institute, our principal investigator, um, who is you know the the brain behind the study, um, is Joe Jimsky from Desert Research Institute and the um, Applied Innovation Center over at Desert Research Institute, and they do all of the uh, research, all the discovery, all the analysis. Um, really partnered with us to design the process that is completely streamlined, paperless. Um, and we like to say that the, re the relationship started over a cup of coffee. So uh, Dr. Slonim and, and Dr. Jimsky will often say, three years ago they met for a cup of coffee, two guys from Jersey. <laughs> and here we are three years later. <laughs> you know later that could lead a lot of other ways, too. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are changing the health of uh, Nevada. We hope to, in, you know, by 10 years, uh, have, have moved markers in, in where we lie in the, in the union as far as our, our health in the state of Nevada. I know Dr. Slonim has been doing amazing things for Renown. Oh my it's, we, we read about all the work yes. that he's doing up up in, in Reno down yeah. here. We're like, why can't we get somebody like that down here as well? He's doing such good stuff. Well, he is here now. Yes, here we are with absolutely. the Healthy Nevada Project. So, so. You, down here you partnered up with UMC. Yes. So tell us the role that UMC plays in that. Yeah, so UMC, again, another cup of coffee between Mason and Tony, the two CEOs of the organizations. Um, said, we have a lot in common as far as organizations go, and, and we wanted to make this a statewide uh, uh, population health study. 
And so uh, Mason offered uh, UMC as a host site. So we are, again, in three locations currently. One is uh, Centennial in northern uh, Las Vegas, another Rancho, North Rancho area. And then uh, the third is down south at Blue Diamond. Okay, and it sounds like Dr. Slonim likes his coffee. Hopefully he doesn't <laughs> encourage it before the test, as I well, have been lacking my Starbucks this morning <laughs> because I needed to wait until I spit in the cup here. And your results will tell you how you affect how caffeine affects you, so that'd be interesting to ask him. Hmm, interesting. So we're going to go ahead, and I'm going to... St- I'm going to try to fill okay. some of this up so people can see how easy it is or Good how job. difficult it is. And then I'm looking forward to drinking some water. And then Not after that, beforehand. Starbucks. So <laughs> think of citrus. So I, I'm, as I'm, this is probably not the most pleasing visual, it's but uh, fine. You, gonna, you have no idea how many people I've seen spit. <laughs> and it's, a, you just have to like re get it filled up and I have to fill up all the way to the line. 1.5 cc's. And a, a thing that we repeat on a daily basis is bubbles don't count. So ah. if you do happen to have a little bit of bubbles, just do a little pound on the desk. Okay. And uh, there you go. So, so just, while I'm doing this, yes. you all brought somebody out on site yes. to do this. Yes. Are you able to do that for everybody? Yeah. How does that work? Well, thank you for asking, because that is a really unique part of our population health study is we're mobile. So because we're paperless, all we need is wireless. We show up with laptops. Our consent process is right there on, on the screen. And as you can see, this is as large of a kit as we need. So we travel within a little box. Depending on how many people are at your event, we can, we can show up. Just to contact Healthy NV. There's an um, email address right there just to ask for uh, if we can be at your event. It's, it's, it's easy to do. It's a very easy process. I did it while we were talking in the lobby. I think yeah. it took all of about 10, 15 minutes, and it was just some clicks, some basic information. Obviously, wanted to know what are you going to do with all of this data. Right. And so I've got questions. Okay. Our participants have questions. Yeah. Where do people go to learn answers? Where's the best place that they could really dig in, study up on this, and learn everything that they need to know to feel comfortable taking the test? So we have been live for about 18 months and have had so many questions. And over the 18 months, have developed a very robust list of FAQs, which are on our website, up on the banner. You go to About Us. FAQs should answer most of the questions you have. If we don't have an FAQ there that does address your your concern or your question, just pick up the phone and call. There are published websites, uh, published phone numbers right there on the website, or we also have an email address. That's awesome. So I'm going to continue doing this, but we're going to have to wrap up the show, I think. Oh, okay. So tell us, is there anything that we did not cover that you want people to know? Because... We went through a lot of information. This is very, very powerful for the state of Nevada. I think it's going to lead us to understand what our population health looks like. And I'm looking forward to getting my results back because, Mm -hmm. of course, you know, you want to know what what should I not be doing? What should I be doing more of? Right. Uh, And from what the preliminary FAQ showed me, uh, it's going to answer a lot of those questions for me. So what else should our audience know? Well, we like uh, where we started was uh, what I said, we are a health literacy program um, and a a research study. So we want health literacy to be something that every Nevadan understands. Um, And we want to recruit as many Nevadans as we can and empower them to understand that their genetics are a powerful health tool to partner with your primary care physician to improve your health. Who doesn't want to feel better? Who doesn't want to prevent illness, injury, and disease? And we think today, in today's medical industry, we have the tools to do that. So sign up, healthyenvy.org. We are offering 25,000 uh, kits in Southern Nevada and Las Vegas. Uh, appointments are going quickly, so please uh, sign up Sign up quickly so you have a chance to uh, participate. And we look forward to you joining our study. Well, very good, Michelle. We appreciate you being on Inside Medicine. Thank uh, you. I Thank still you have a mind. little bit to go. Bubbles it's, don't count. I know. I've got to <laughs> knock this down a little bit. It's a, it's a tough thing, but to, and I'm looking forward to that water and more so that coffee. And next time Dr. Slonim's in town, I'll have coffee with him, and maybe some great things will come about of that. I'm sure he'll enjoy that. Well, thank very you. good. For our audience, thank you for being with us today for another edition of Inside Medicine. We, again, if you... Uh, Caught us halfway through the session. You could uh, catch us online on our website, YouTube, Roku, Stitcher, all those other fancy websites that they tell me to mention. And uh, we look forward to seeing our audience next Thursday on another edition of Inside Medicine. Thanks, and you make it a great day. Thank you.